Hello and welcome to Vix Wireless. Today we're going to show you how to set up the EC25 router. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel so we can continue growing and sharing with others. First thing you're going to want to do is go to the bottom right hand of the screen and bring up your Wi-Fi networks. You will notice the EC25 because it will be open. It will not have a password set to it and you can just connect directly to it. It will also match the numbers on your MAC address on the bottom of the router. Now once you're connected you can pull up your internet browser. In this case we're going to be using Internet Explorer. You can see that we have no internet here so what we're going to actually be connecting to is the router. We're not connecting to the internet. The code is 192.168.1.1. It'll pull up your administration page here. And the password is going to be admin, A-D-M-I-N. And we'll hit the little arrow here just so you can see the actual password. Okay, admin, go ahead and log in. And this is your front page here. You'll see the home button. Now we want to go down to network. That's your second tab down on the left there. You can see here that there is an X. Okay, that means we have no internet. When we're done, that X will be gone. All right, now that we've clicked on network, be on this page, and then we're going to go to the 4G tab at the top here. You're going to take the first tab here and switch it over to 4G preferred on. And the next thing we're going to do is change that GobiNet to PPP. And then we will go into the advanced setup just below it. Set that to USA. And that'll automatically set to you to AT&T and broadband for your APN, which is correct. Now once you've done that, you're going to want to hit the blue save button, the first blue save button. You'll see a little world spinning here. This could take about 30 seconds to a minute. So uh, we'll fast forward through this just for time's sake. Now, two settings you want to look at towards the bottom is your provider should say AT&T, and then you should have somewhat of a decent signal. And this is what ours looks like here in the office on the EC25. Now, let's go back to the home screen, and you will see that that red X is now gone, meaning we have internet. Now, the next thing you can do, if you choose to, is go to your Wi-Fi setup. Your Wi-Fi password will be set to no encryption, meaning there's no password on it. You can set it to encryption. You'll see it right here. Let me hit that drop-down tab. It'll give you a choice to go for the encryption, and then you can type in your own password. And if you click this little look over button here, it'll actually show the password so you don't have to guess. The standard password for Bix Wireless is the WEA26-T2. You can feel free to change that if you like. Once you've done so, make sure to hit the save button. You'll see the world swirling there again. And what this is going to do is actually kick you off of the Wi-Fi because now you have an encrypted password. So you will actually have to log back into your Wi-Fi with the correct password before you can connect to it from now on. And once you've done it once, it should save it. Get connected here. And we're going to type in our password WEA26-T2. Yep. And it now shows that we are connected and we have a password. Now, just to be thorough, let's pull up a website to make sure we have internet. Let's go to BixWireless.com. And here's our website. Internet is working. Everything is set up just right. If you have any questions, you can also um, email us here from the website. We do have a contact page on here. As always, thank you for watching Bix Wireless. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel so we can continue to grow and share with others.